Okay, guys, let's uh, carry on with this. This Heineken label. Type on a path, star tool, and all that sort of thing. The only thing we are going to do today is create this uh, this shape. I'll let you guys either download your own shape, or you're going to um, redraw that or do a live trace. But I just want you guys to get the idea from all, all the other shapes I'm building here. So uh, what I'll do next is create the circular shape. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm actually going to call this green circles. All right. And I'm, I'm going to put this in between the layers. And I'm going to hide my... And star, I'm just going to call that type and star, rename that. Go back to green circles. So now I'm going to hide the type layer. I'll work in the green circle layer. I'll show you how easy it is to create this. So what I actually see here is I don't see, you know, shapes. I see circles at work. I'm going to show you what that means. Okay, so I'm going to hold Option and Shift. I'm going to create an outline for that outside circle. Okay, so I'm working from the outside in. And again, I'll make that one point or 0.15 just so I can see that shape, okay? Then what I'm gonna do, this is gonna save you a ton of time. Go to edit, copy, edit, paste in front. One of the best features in Illustrator. Now, if you're in the scale tool, go back to the scale tool, and if you hold shift and scale that down, I'm going to go to the inside shape of the next circle, okay? And then again, I'm going to copy and paste in front, or Command C, Command F, and I'm going to create up to that shape, okay? I'm going to copy, paste in front again, and create that. So I'll show you what we got. Thank you. 
Okay, so what I've got now is, sorry, I just lost the volume for a little bit for announcements there. I'm just going to bring this shape down, just inside of the black layer. And again, I try to use this reflect tool as much as I can. Okay, I'm going to go double click. And now I'll try a vertical, and I'm going to go copy, and make a duplicate. Now right now, I'm creating my shapes in white. I'll change those to black right now. So I'm going to shift select, hold them all, or select them all, and then we've got this. Okay. All right. Now, the pen tool, you can either draw this shape here, right shift, okay, and just going to outline that. Now, if you hold shift and click at the same time, you get a real nice, smooth bezier. Works really well. Shift and click. Click. Shift and hold. Get the bezier, and there you go. So you get a really nice looking shape there. Okay. So now what I've got, I've got these black shapes. And I'm going to show you a, a really neat trick. Okay. So Instead of creating, actually what I'll do instead is I'm going to create that black or the white outline. That's pretty easy to do. Again, hold shift whenever you have a straight, straight line. So shift, click, 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 shift, hold to get the bezier, click. Now there's a few ways you can do this. This is just one way. Um, click, shift, and close up that path. So then you get your white shape. Now your white falls in front, so you can just move that behind. So now what you're dealing with is those shapes. Okay, so the black in front. Now. Instead of redrawing that third shape, or the, the outside shape, you can actually just take the white shape and go to Object, Path, Offset Path. Okay, And now this, if you keep it as a miter corner, you're going to get a really nice defined outline of what you've already got. Okay, so now that creates our black. And now just by default, I had the correct size somewhat. I'll let you guys modify that if you need to. Um, but again, I'm just showing you the technique more than anything. Okay, so now that black banner is there. It turned out pretty good. Again, your offset on your path will depend on the size of your shape. So the shape sizes I have in this tutorial is not necessarily going to work for you. Uh, I'm just going to bring that black layer to the top or in front of the green circles. And now I'm going to go to the type layer, select that Heineken that you can't really see. And again, sometimes what I'll do is I'll unlock that scan layer. Sorry, I'm all over the place with this one. I'll duplicate that over to the side so that I've got two copies. Okay. Oops. Let's just try that again. Okay, because you can't really see what's going on underneath. Sometimes you need a, a, another reference point. So um, I know I have the shapes there. I'm just going to go into each area and just find my type, my colors, and my shape colors. And you can see it's coming along. And I can size this down. Oops. Center up the type. Move that down. And then you may have to do some fine tuning. If I look at my arch here, I notice that the arch of my type path doesn't match this properly. So I might have to rotate this just slightly to get the shaping down. Okay. Anytime you're working on a, a logo reproduction, it's important that it's exact. Um, 
And then the last thing we're going to do, and then I'll let you guys finish up the rest, is the trademark sign. So in Illustrator, Photoshop, or InDesign, or any type program you're in on a Mac, is Option R. So whatever type you're using, if you hold down Option R on your keyboard, you're going to get that trademark sign come up. Okay, so I can actually just take that and convert it to outlines or change that color. Scale that down. And there you go. So that's something that looks like that. That's pretty good. Now there are some issues here that I've got to fix up, like see how the contour of this path changes. Um, and that there is another kind of drop shadow on the banner. Uh, that can be uh, fixed up a little bit too. Uh, but I'll let you guys take care of the rest. I think you've got enough to get through it. And uh, happy, happy illustrating, okay? Keep practicing and have fun. This program has so much to offer. And I'm out.